Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Back here in L.A., Trey Turner at the plate. Leading off for the Dodgers, the shortstop, Trey Turner. And a pitch. That's to third. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, as an offense, you want to get the crowd involved right away. Get that good energy working for you. But this time, the defense does it for them. Always a great opportunity when you can get your leadoff guy on base to start the game. And it doesn't matter how it happens. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And now the 0 1. Turner runs. Strike in there. Save at second, and that was not close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal of second base. We got no one. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. No outs. Runner on second. Put him away. Give him your best stuff. Here you go. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. That you want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give in to that pitch Jerry. that's going to dart out of the zone at Whoa. the very last moment. But that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get. And he was frozen. Jared Walsh steps to the plate for the Dodgers. In there for strike one. One down, one down. Ball Next one. offering misses, and it's one, one and one. Strike. Turner leads hey, off second go. with one gone in the inning. And down on strikes he goes. And two away now. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played. But a that slider cool. in the 90s still catches okay. your attention. Even if you're no, sitting no. on the pitch, good luck oh, recognizing man. that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Yeah, and now yeah. it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch has popped up. Arise oh, under it. My, my, my. And that's the third out. One left for L.A. We played an inning. No score. Here you go, guys. Let's Welcome back. And now it's Austin Hayes. Leading off for the Dodgers. The left fielder, Austin. Matt, hey. back to work. Going one. Going one. Hey, nobody away. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Got some oh, cut man. action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. 
so far moving the ball around nicely Matthew Ross behind the plate pitchers umpire yeah pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes boo if you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone he will reward you softly hit the third Ramirez sends it to first and quickly one away in the second batting fit the second baseman Gavin Lux and now it's Gavin Lux he's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed but he can absolutely move and it is a factor in his game in there and it's 0 and 1 Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like oh, that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Swings and misses. Now one and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Bounce back to the mound. Already oh. two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting seven, the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon one, steps now. to the plate. His righty lefty splits there. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like he's just no sizing ball, him up strike. there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Going two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down 1 0. As we go to the last of the third. And now the DH, Yorbit Vibas. The Dodgers, the designated hitter, Yorbit. Matt back to work. There's a strike. Come on, fellas, let's go. The 0 1. Fall off foul. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Got him. And that's the first out. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow Batting by up. hitters, but you'll the see this every field. once in a while. Jay. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then out. the Man. last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. And now it's going to be James Outman Aye. in there for strike one. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Try to punt his way on. Not in time. He's safe. 
Here's Trey Turner. Good stop. Turner. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Out one out, one stands out. at first with one out. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hey, hard two, right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And now one and, and two, one and two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for now him, back. but I don't right care field. where a knuckleball ends Monkey. up. Those things dance all over the back. place. And even when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. Here's Mookie now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Allen in oh, position. Oh, makes the play, and it's out number three. So the Dodgers leave one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now at the plate, Jared Walsh. Here we go. For the Dodgers, the first baseman. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Whoa. And there's a foul ball. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Nobody here, nobody. Righty to the plate. He swings and fouls one off. Right hander kicks deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, he got him swinging now with the him. knuckleball there. The and pitcher. I feel this guy's pain, oh, Boog. I just have nightmares oh, about the times man. that I had to face Tim Wakefield. Not good numbers. And if my career was based off of that, I would have been in AAA. There yeah, we go. Digging in, Salvador Perez. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. And there's the strike. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. The pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Fralick should have this one. That's mine, that's mine. Drops into the glove. Out. Number two. Up next for the Dodgers. The left fielder, Austin. And next for LA, Hayes. Austin Hayes. Hey, and the first pitch misses for ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering in the dirt. Yeah, that's ball two. 2-0 two count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect hey, him to here. be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stance. Hey. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Two down, nobody on. On a line, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. 
Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. He'll one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. On the ground to third. They take the force out, gets him easily, ends the inning. One left for L.A., still down 3-0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Ryan Leading McMahon. For the Dodgers, the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. The wind of the pitch. He was late there, strike oh, one. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, no might want to be a little more patient, take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three now pitches were the in the strike zone, hitter. attack Your mode all bet. the way, and that's pretty Leave impressive off. given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Yorbit Vivas. Hey, come on now. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing and one. Hey, we got one out here. He'll one. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. Got a pitch to hit right there with two strikes, but just couldn't get a piece. Now Tell you what, that screwball is so unique, Yay. and it's so rarely seen. I, I think out it can be man. tough for any hitter just to get a piece of it, no matter where it's placed. As a hitter, you're just not used to seeing a pitch moving that way and, and getting on the same plane as it comes into the hitting zone. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First time up, he reached on a bunt single. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering, and it just misses. Come on, guys. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. The wind and the pitch. Right through there. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail in this one, three nothing. Welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Trey Turner. Leading off for the Dodgers. The shortstop. Trey. Matt, Turner. back to work. 
There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. No one out now. Kicks and fires. And a big swing and a miss. They need a strikeout right here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, oh, he should be able to rack up some more no before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had yes. much of an answer for what he's offering out there. And the batter now, Mookie Betts, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is down low. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. Here he go, is guys. a professional hitter. Strike two. Just an One outstanding ball. job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that yeah. is put a great swing on that ball took the barrel right to it nice extension as well 105 exit velocity that tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And now Jared Walsh in there and it's on one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. All right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpires calls but at this point he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding the all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating oh, for him up man. there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Man, at first, now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Salvador Perez. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch hey, strikes. Right, He's not right. afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Betts leads off first with two down to the inning. Swings and misses. That ends the frame. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail it here, three nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's going to be Austin Hayes. For the Dodgers, the left fielder, Austin. The pitch. Hey. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable right of rallying here. from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Next offering is downstairs.
swing and a miss. One and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his hey, commitment. No now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. One up, one down. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Gavin Lux. And now here is Gavin Lux. First pitch, just misses. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And a swing and a miss. Swings through that one. The count is one and two. And now it's one and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Man, that looked like a pretty good swing, and I was waiting for it to get hammered somewhere. Yeah, I mean, breaking ball, but he baseman. just somehow missed it. Ryan. Timing looked solid, and his balance Nick was there. Man. He wasn't out on the front foot. Great pitch to hit, but just came up with nothing but air. So, tell you what, that's not a good feeling at all. Two outs, base is empty. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's in there for strike one. Now the 0 1. Eight, two. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. We got two. We got two. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Yorbit Vivas. Leading up for the Dodgers. The designated. And he deals. Yorbit. Drops one down in front of the plate. On the run, sends it over to first. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Well, I think the defense now was anticipating it. something Silver. here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag bunt, but they get the out. And way to go. Yeah, the batter now, James Outman. In there for strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see one another down, pitch down. like that from a top level guy like this. Oh, one down. Right through there for a strike. Hey, strike him out. Clutch up right here. And a foul ball, he stays alive. This to center field. Allen settles it, under it. And there's two down. The batter, the shortstop, Trey Turner. Trey Turner now. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Puts it in the air out towards left center. 
Allen makes the catch and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order. They trail it here for nothing. Back here in L.A. Here's Mookie Betts. And here he comes. The, Dodgers, the right fielder. And that one is in for a strike. Betts. The pitch. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Hey, nobody wait. Plays at one here. Lifted in the air, out to left. And Betts is set down. And there's one down. Now batting, the first baseman, Jared. Whoa. So digging in, Jared Walsh for the fourth time tonight. Up the middle, Watson collects, whips it to first. Just one out remaining for the Dodgers. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. Salvador Perez now at the plate. Hey, first pitch strike. Get ahead right here. That one's in there, 0 1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as the stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Two down here. I'm well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. And the 0-2. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi.